going. All right, so we're on Eldrazi Tron. It was requested by Ken, like I had mentioned. Um, right now, this is, I think, very similar to the uh, version that Dylan Han um, was playing at the most recent event. We, uh, I, I am trimming one dismember and swapping over to one end, another Endbringer. So we're on two Blast Zones, one Caverns, four Temples, Ghost Quarter, Scavenger Ground, Seagate Wreckage, four Mines, four Plants, four Towers, two Wastes, four Maps, two Chalices, two Dismembers. We've got four of the Matter Reshaper, Thought Knot, and Smasher, as well as Karn, two Endbringers, and one Ugin. Uh, we get two All is Dust, four Chalices, and three Ballistas. Over in the sideboard, we've got four Ley Lines, two Contortions, we've got a Tormods, a Graph Diggers, Liquid Metal, Sorcerer's Spyglass, and Snaring Bridge, Mystic Forge, Lattice, and Worm Coil, and a, another Ballista. Uh, I've got the list updated in Stream Decker already, so let's not wait too much longer and just jump right into a League. I don't have two versions of the deck going on. Nope, just the one. I did play um, the other day, uh, and I might do it on the stream here. There is a Naya um, Titan Shift list, and it's really creature focused. And it's playing that new 130, I mean, the new one drop 03 reach um, creature that lets you put a land in play. And that card really impressed me. Um, it's kind of awkward at times because you would have it and you wouldn't have a land to play, or you, you know, you're drawing it later on. But early on, man, turn one, phenomenal. You can't beat it. It's just like getting another search, and then turn two being able to do uh, potentially, you know, ramp into another suspend or something. I don't know. It's just it seems really fun. And that zero three body being able to block is pretty awesome. Um, this list was a lot of fun for me because it had um, three restos, three thragtus, Baylos, Knight of Autumns in the side. That was hilarious because uh, I was just like cyborging into a, a Naya value deck, like what I played in standard when those cards were legal. Okay. Let me deal with this. I think we're going to lead off with a temple for the chance that we hit another temple to get that turn two thought knot. <gasps> Are we going against the elves? All of this seems really sweet against them. Interesting, they're casting something before combat with Nettle. Two, two. I'll pass it over. I've got some different land choices that we went with. Sweet card. Why aren't we playing that, Jay? Okay, so they could swing with three creatures and then use a Zuri overrun. Okay. 
Okay. Let's take this, go to one. And if we can rip the last piece off the top of the deck for Tron here, we can all just wipe the board and should be good to win the game from there. If not, we're probably dead. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're making it out of this one. Alright, so we want the the contortions for sure. I think we're gonna bring in the ballista as well. The rest of this we can leave to the side. Chalice seems sweet. I think Endbringers might be too slow along with Ugin as well. I think this is fine. The Chalice on one could do a lot of work for us here. So, depending on how their hand shapes up, the, our mana is kind of awkward. Getting a temple will let us. If we rip a temple, it would be sweet, or just a Tron piece. Chalice on one and pass it over. Karn inebriated. I'd have a drink with Karn. He seems like a fun guy to get a drink with, right? Okay. I'm gonna hold off on cracking that map as long as we can. Run out this reshaper. I always like to hold off cracking the map. It uh, if you don't have to do it, that way you can try to find that missing piece if you need it. To form Tron, but debatably we may have wanted to crack it to go get um, to go get a temple so then we can run a ballista out for two next turn or a smasher yeah this member is great alright so I want to get a land here I don't think there's any harm in waiting, so let's just pass it over. Eldritch Evolution. Okay. We're gonna want to take out the, the Zuri here, and then we'll use a ballista on two and take out the Arch Druid. Mm. 
lol. Swing. Run out a smasher. And we can start smashing. Okay. Interesting that they're swinging. Okay, they're just conceding. Opponent let us know that they couldn't get lands. Ooh, I asked my opponent if they had cocoa in hand. They said no, but they said of something of that effect. It would have been lethal forever. So I don't think this hand's good enough. Let's mulligan that. This hand's pretty awkward as well, unfortunately. They mold as well. Yeah, it might have been Cord. Uh, they did play an Eldritch Evolution. It'd be interesting if they're running Cord, though. Like, why... I guess why bother playing Cord? Because most of the time, your Cocos are just like a Cord anyway. Keep this... All right, so Chalice I normally want to have, however... Maybe we want to ship that because we just want to get to all this dust as fast as possible. So I think I'm gonna ship Chalice. How am I gonna ship Dismember? want to show them our blast zone yet because we can't activate it but it's going to do a lot of great work too with all their one drops hopefully we're not going to be dead our true does not look good for us
That's Azuri. Taking 15 this turn? Oh, that's really not good. So, we can run out Blastone, take all their one drops, but then they'll still have five power on board and we die. And we only have one, two, three, four, five mana, so we can't cast all his dust. So, we're dead. Bit of an unfortunate mole there. At this point, to run out of bobble, I mean a chalice on zero. Okay. Obviously, that would have been great, but you know, it looks a little against we're going against like the war style deck or the Urza style deck. Alrighty. Um, let's take a quick look. I want to pull up if. is where we really want to be because then we'd be stopping a good amount is the one still worth it just to hit a few things i don't think so or do we just want to run it for zero there's only a couple cards left in their deck that would hit it yeah we didn't know if it, it could have been like a shadow deck and then that would have been silly um we're only hitting a few cards with one. So let's just run it out on zero and pass it over. hold that chalice because if we can get one more land chalicing on two will be pretty sweet pass that back Yeah, probably thought not over Chalice. It's a tough choice. Like, Chalice would stop them from getting a good amount of cards. They can still wear stuff in, obviously, but it would be quite good. We're stopping both parts of the combo. Any additional Mindstones or Wellsprings as well. Ah, we might just run off the Chalice. Browning's telling us that he's, they're running really bad with the deck.
Oh, uh, Browning is telling us that this is one of their worst matchups. And it looks like though they've been flooding. Like so they, yeah, they're telling us that they don't want to play uh, Hogak. Yeah, I think we might want to blast for two. Oh, they're just conceding. Weird. So the Olives Dust has some relevance because it does hit their tokens, but I think that's it. I don't think that's good enough to keep. Leyline does shut. Yeah, Leyline shuts down the engineer, right? Like, is that worth it alone, just for having that effect? No, I think the all is just fine because it, it does hit Sai and Urza as well. Yeah, I think we're just gonna run it back. Okay. So we're farming Tron, which is sweet, and we've got Blasto, which is also sweet. We've got a pretty decent payoff with Ballista. Pretty strong line waiting for a concession. Ho ho ho. Okay, let's run out the thought knot. So I'm running out the thought knot because then we can run out map and go fetch up a tower, and then if they don't have any responses, we'll be able to lock them out of the game. Doctor, Doctor Trophy. Let's take the trophy.
Yeah. Anything they play, we can take out all his dust. But we're hoping that they just tap out and we win the game. Yeah, Opal. That's cool. So they're going to run out Urza, and then we're going to win the game. Well, no. I guess we don't. So we could we could t -t -t Karn and then we'd have to block the construct. They draw a card on our turn. We try to see if we can win from there. It's not unreasonable. Let's do that. See if we can piece it together from there. Thus is officially dead. Oh, they're just conceding for us. That's nice of them. Casual 10 10. We definitely helped it quite a bit with that. But I think it would have been fine because we could have gone blast zone, take out all the one drops, wiping a good chunk of them. And then uh, Ballista to block, uptick with Karn to take something else out and just slowly whittle it away. This seems good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna go Temple here just for the chance we hit Thought Knot. humans I should have played the mind there that's my mistake I think I just want to run out the map yeah that was a misclick we could have had Tron on turn four and then uh go from there I would have gone Shadows on one there but I wanted to get the other map out so we can form Tron as well and then or go get Blast Zone Mutavolt okay maybe this isn't humans oh, okay it's spirits blue white spirit boys I think I still want to Chalice on one shuts off their paths and their other spirit dudes if they want to move their vial if in a different direction and the next turn we'll use that go fetch up at you know one of the uh, other Urza pieces and then go get the last one and then have a ballista four. Four? Let's start shooting stuff down. OK. 
casting into chalice pro techniques Mm -mm. Chalice on two would be funny. But I want to form Tron. Taking a whole lot of damage. Can ballista for four. Kind of in an awkward spot. We want to hit the Supreme Phantom, obviously, but it'd be hard to take out the Supreme Phantom. They have another Lord. I think they would have moved that vial up to three. So the fact that they didn't should be okay. We can shoot the Lord, and if they sack the Self of Spirit, we can shoot something else, so... Yeah, but they, so, th now we can't, so. If they have a Lord coming into play, we're just dead. Or another se uh, selfless spirit. Oh, they're going to be, no, they can't. Alright, let's see if we're dead. Oh, I think we're just dead anyway. The uh, the wanderer getting ticked up and then sacking. Yeah, we're dead. All right, I want to bring in the contortions. Take out the unbringers. Well, unbringers might have more relevance. Take out the smashers. No, reshapers. I think I'm okay with leaving the ballista inside to go fetch up with Karn. Yeah, if we uh, could, uh, it may have been correct to shoot the other spirits, but with what they had, no matter what line we took, we would have lost. Because if we would have shot at the dude once, they would have uh, let it go, and then response to that, they would have rattle changed, and then we would have shot it again, and then in response to that, they would have um, selfless spirit, and then they still win. So because they had another selfless spirit and uh, and that rattle change was just over.
I did think about the shooting down both creatures instead of shooting down the Lord, because it's a 1-3. Um, and that may have been better. Mm, this is not good enough. This is good enough. Right, so if we do that line, um, after he picks it and we shoot it selfless twice, uh, he, we still die, right? Because the rattle chain's coming into play, we'll pump the other dude. No, I guess we're not dead. We go to one. Yeah, you're right. We only take four and we will stay alive. Yeah, it's still a really bad spot. Giver of Ruins. We're going to kill that. Kill it, kill it, kill it. run out the Karn, but I think I'm going to instead opt to hold up the map and the contortion. Got the mutavolt. Let's go get a tower. Ooh, actually, let's run out of Ballista. Aw. Sadness overwhelming.
we got another Karn. So they don't, they can't swing at us anymore. Just sweet. Next turn we'll go for the lattice lock and see if that's the game. Mm -mm. Today we weren't on the play. Chalice on one would have been sweet, and then Chalice on two. They're down to five cards. Are they going down to four? Okay, that's just out of control. Sweet to lock them down to one vial if we would have been on the play. On the plus side, they're down to one card. Wow, they brought in Stony for their own vial? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that seems crazy. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, is that a good card for them to be bringing in against us? Like, it doesn't really do anything, does it? Like, it stops Ballista? It stops Mind Stone? Chalice on two here and see if I can lock them up another portion of their deck. I 
the biggest brain plays brown rice the biggest. If we run it out, we can tick it up. Takes three, minus, go to one. That might be the best bet. Oh, they've got a card in hand. Let's just run off on that. Land. I don't know if we can afford that dismember. Times like this is when I wish I had the uh, boat in our side. I mean, we did still need to land, but I love that boat. Oh, they're attacking us. Cool. Kinda. So we can go get Ballista for two. Seems like it's the best bet. spot because like we actually can't activate the ballista so a temple or a tower will let us cast this all as dust and then we'd be in a great spot Attacking us again. Oh, I still see have the C chrome in hand. Is that, that's not good enough, right? Unfortunate. I think we lost. We can't go fetch up anything to block the flyers and yeah no that's it so close
Well, we've got Natron, so we'll keep this. Hey, hey. Uh, not terrible. We are one and um, one and two, though. So let's see if we can win these next two and break even. Rift Bolt Suspend. Well, Thought Knot is really good against Burns. So that's pretty sweet. Eidolon's fine. Let's take the Boros Charm, run out of Shaper, and pass it over. Um, I don't think it's necessarily the list. Um, our last matchup against Blue White Spirits was really close. So, some of the draws have been a little awkward, so it's definitely not a terrible spot by any means from it, so. You always want to play a lot to get enough in there so you can get, like, more relevant data. I think we just want to go fetch up this worm coil. And we'll pass it over. Uh, let's put that in our hands so we can put Chalice on uh, two and lock them out a good portion of their deck. Including those skull cracks. Alright, so the last card in hand is the Searing Blaze. I guess since we drew that, we're just going to Karn Lock them. Bring the contortions, take out the dismembers, take out the Ugin, bring in the ballista. We'll leave worm coil on the side so we can go fetch it up. I think everything else is fine. Um, this hand's pretty close. I'm gonna keep it because going reshaper into double thought knot should be good enough to win the game if we can just get there. We'd love to rip a, a temple though. On suspend. Taking a whole chunk of damage next turn.
I like the new art. Right there. That's some good art. All right, we're at nine. I'm gonna go with the map here because it sets us up for a guaranteed thought knot where if we don't we're not going to and it, it might be you know we're gonna lose the having an extra creature in play but I, I think this is fine they have a lot of land let's see what they're working with <laughs> oh, they're on all smashes. Okay. So we're never casting any artifacts. <laughs> Smash, go to Matter Reshaper. So I can't think of, okay, they had a redraw. What could you have, opponents? Don't know. So, let's go... Alright, we don't want a chalice. I'll just blow it up. Let's go smash and just swing. And, uh, see if they have any way to kill us. I don't think so. Like, most they can do is just Boros Charmers for four. Two and two. Let's see if we can wrap this up with another win. Mm, sure. Kind of awkward, but it can work out. Okay, there goes Mindstone.
I don't run out blast zone so we can take it up to one. I mean to two. And take out Bob and maybe a Goyf. Karn's not bad. Let's run out Karn. Let's grab Mystic Forge and see if we can just grind them out if we don't get the land here. of getting lands. ditch one of the smashers oh, okay so they got they played the tune this turn Hmm. We can go Ballista for two, shoot the Bob. Or run on Mystic Forge and lose our Karn. I don't really want to lose the Karn yet. Endbringer. I'll take a card again. And we'll pass it over. Ooze we're facing down. I 
think we're going to discard the Smasher. Because if we rip a land, we can always just wipe the board and just completely take over. Ooh. Pulse on Endbringer is rough. That means Karn's dying too. Oh, there's the land. and a draw card, three. We really hope they don't have a Thought Seize or something, or a Lily off or a Mystic Forge. Bob's fine-ish. Cast that one. I um, guess I'm just gonna exile it. That's unfortunate. Okay, pass it over. And stop on art upkeep. And they got our brutality. Blast zone up, so let's keep it where it's at. We got ourselves a power plant. Really unfortunate. Let's exile that. Oh my gosh, we're just infinite lands! Exile that. Smasher, okay. And we'll do a ballista for six. Oh yeah, we have brutality. We're dead. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I think I would prefer to leave the worm coil on the list on the side. So I think we're just running this back. Do we want to bring in the contortions? I think we do. Let's take out the two chalices actually, and then we'll trim the other two chalices for the ballista and the worm coil. 
I just don't really like chalices in this matchup. They just have too many. Their, their curve is, you know, all over the place, so chalicing on the one, they still get a lot of threats. Uh, we're shipping that. I guess we'll keep this. We'll ship the Allas Dos. One, two, going. Ballista will not kill it. Let's run out of matter reshaper and pass it over. Got a surgical for us as well. Yeah, they do. How rude. Man, uh, surgicals are so popular nowadays. Everybody gets surgicals all our tribe lands. on the Karn. Oh, they forgot to take the one out of our graveyard. Interesting. But our list does not run a Crucible, so it's irrelevant, unfortunately. Alright, let's play the Liquid Metal game. Unfortunate. They had the removal spell, so Karn's dead. Thought seeds probably takes our thought not. We can go Ballista for three and then Ballista for three, and depending on what they are going on, we can actually race them.
could do the Karn. We brought in the... Hmm. Yeah, it's probably still fine. Okay. <sighs> I think I'm going to run out the liquid metal coating. And then we're going to tick up Blast Zone. And then take out the Goyf. I'm not particularly a big fan of this play, but... If they have another trophy, we're, in, we're uh, in a bad spot. one more mana um, so we can go Karn fetch up a bridge and we basically need them not to have um, another artifact structure or anything to get rid of this and if they don't we will be able to win the game. I'm gonna lock down their peatland. If they want to activate right now to draw, they can. Okay, Liliana's fine. They can tick that up, and then we'll lock up the game, and we'll win from there. Nice. So now they're locked out, and we just have to wait to win. Okay, they conceded. Let's try it again. See if we can win this last one. This will be my last one for tonight. I gotta go do some homework. Mm -mm, this hand's no good. Just saying it's not great, but we're gonna keep it. At least they don't have to turn one thought season against us. Run out the list and take up that Bob. Sure. We'll get a dismember.
Okay. We'll do this. That way we can go get a smasher next turn. Ooh, Fulminator. That is not good for us. Uh, at least we get a reshaper. Try to slow this down a little bit. We need to hit like some lands off this reshaper and a draw in order to stay in this game. Because that field of ruins going after our temple. And we're going to be down to three lands. Or three mana, rather. Also three lands. But... Exactly what we want, but we'll make do. Well, if we rip another land, we can actually just drop Worm Coil, which will be fantastic. If we can stabilize from that. Unfortunate, but it's fine. We got two tokens. Hopefully they don't have a pulse. Okay. They had a push. We will block. Well, that's dandy. <laughs> oh, our rips have been insane. Staying in this game. Come on. Gonna go for Karn. Gonna go snag an ensnaring bridge just in case they get rid of our Karn. They'll have to deal with that. Alright, if they don't have anything, we win. No interactive spells, opponent. Stone into lattice. 
I imagine if they're not conceding, they have some kind of destructive spell for us. Ooh, ooh. All right. Well, that was good. Finished that 3-2. Not bad. I still enjoy the deck. I feel like I might tweak it a little bit from um, where it's at right now, but we didn't go against any of the hogs. So that's fine with me. I hate that deck. <laughs> I, I hate going against it. So, But Leyline's great against them. So, All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me tonight. Um, I'll be back next Sunday with another league. I don't know if I'll be on that. Got It's finals week for me this week, so I'm pretty sure I will not be on again. I haven't been able to get on any extra time anyhow, but... Um, yeah, so if there are any requests for decks, as always, just send them to me. I'm more than happy to take a look at what you have requested, and I'll play into the best of my ability. Um, have a wonderful night, everyone.